Hey, my name is Rachel, glad you could make it. Today is a special What I Ate In A Day video because I will be eating like Kate Flowers. If you don't know Kate Flowers, is a YouTuber. She makes videos on veganism, her life, ethical living, and I just love her so much. So just the other week, Kate released a new ebook. It's Freedom Food 2.0, which is a cookbook. It includes like a 21 day meal plan, all of whole plant foods, vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, oil-free. So check in a lot of those good healthy boxes. And I've been so excited. I got the ebook right when it came out and it's the first time I've gotten the ebook from Kate. So I'm very excited to jump in and give it all a try. But anyway, so this book is, you know, it can be like a weight loss book. If you're eating a whole foods plant-based lifestyle and you have weight to lose, I think that you're kind of, you're on a weight loss diet. That's fine. I'm not particularly like trying to eat a certain amount of calories every day and lose weight. And in the book, Kate says these recipes can be used if you're looking to lose weight or, you know, maintenance, whatever. They're just some good healthy recipes. You can always eat more food in a day if you want to and everyone needs different calories, you know, whatever. But I see this book as a great opportunity to get some more variety in my diet, try out some new recipes. And so I went out and it's organized by like three weeks, it's 21 days, and I took the week one shopping list and went to town. I love their shopping list in it, and also all the recipes, they have like eight ingredients or less. It's also kind of a starch-based diet, so it's a lot more affordable than a fruit-based high-raw diet, which is very cool. And I wanna give this whole week a try. I won't make a full what I ate in a day video for every single day, but we're starting out day one with a full what I ate in a day video, and then by the end of the week, I will let you know how it all goes, and if I wanna keep going with it, do a full 21 days, it's a little overwhelming to think of cooking all this much and like, you know, really thinking ahead and prepping all the food, but I wanna do it. I really wanna get some more variety in there. And of course, I wanted to support Kate by getting this ebook from her. So please check out her channel. I'll be showing you everything I'm making in, like how I'm making it in this video, but I won't include like the screenshots from the book. I just, it feels kind of disrespectful to Kate. And she is also sharing a lot of the recipes on her own channel. So please go check out her channel, go check out her book. Here's what I've eaten today so far. I got up, I made my celery juice. I know celery juice isn't part of the book, but I don't think a green juice is a bad thing to have. And celery juice for me is just like a vitamin. Then I went, I did a hot yoga class. I drank some water after that. Before I show you the breakfast, I almost forgot. I had my B12. Kate promotes having B12 because it's a vital nutrient to have. I had this after I brushed my teeth. It's a little spray bottle, cool, good stuff. Here is my breakfast. It is oatmeal. It's all mixed up now, but it looked pretty a few minutes ago. Let's go back in time. And how did I make these peanut butter oats? So I had to soak one medjool date and then add it with some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, put that on the stove to heat up. Then I put in some gluten-free rolled oats with a little bit of salt, let that cook up for a few minutes, put it in a bowl, added a spoonful of hemp seeds, added two spoonfuls of peanut butter. There's no salt, oil, sugar, anything in the peanut butter. Put it all together and mixed it up because, you know, that's how I like to do things and wow. It just tastes like peanut butter and it's sweet and oh, it's so good. I really, really love oatmeal. I used to eat it pretty much like every single day for breakfast and then I sort of developed a sensitivity to oats before I was ever vegan, like all these grains and I've been doing a lot of work to heal my gut. So we're gonna see how I do with these oats. I know the way I would react to it would be like an inflammatory response, get maybe some like, you know, redness, some bumps on my face, sometimes between my fingers and then kind of get more aches and pains. I don't think I have as much leaky gut stuff going on. Like I've been doing the celery juice and all this good stuff. So I'm gonna try to reintroduce oats today. There's a lot of oat recipes in the Freedom Food 2.0. So we're gonna see how I do with it. I really hope it's okay. If not, I'll swap the oats for like quinoa and rice, but I love oats and they're really good for you and they are good for digestion. And I don't think the sensitivity is like here to stay. I think it's, I think it's better. I really have not had a bowl of oatmeal and I don't even know should be filling. I've also been interested in this book because just like portion sizes, like I don't really know. <laughs> now I'm relatively new to eating like whole foods plant-based, kind of figuring out the macronutrients of like how much, you know, like overt fats to have in my diet. I feel like this book will be good, give me an idea and just portion sizes. Like, I don't know, if I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat some more fruit or something. Like I'm not interested in depriving myself and like not eating when I'm hungry. Like 
that's not cool, that's not a way to live, and I don't think Kate would promote that. And also, yeah, I exercise today, so maybe I'll be hungrier, I don't know, but this should be filling, right? I'm also drinking some water with this. This is my breakfast, I'm excited. Mmm. Well, everyone, I started recording and eating this and I didn't have the microphone on, so let's recap. So I made for lunch the dinner option technically for today, which is a loaded chickpea sweet potato dish. And then I'm just having the lunch option, which is this um, rice dish later because I'm gonna be on the go and packing rice would be a lot easier, I think, than packing a loaded sweet potato. So we're just flip-flopping it around, no big deal at all. So what do I got here? I took two smallish sweet potatoes and put those in the oven to bake. You're supposed to be using one medium sweet potato in the recipe, but I just had small ones. And while those are baking, took chickpeas, added hot sauce, some spices, stirred it all up together real nice. And after baking the sweet potatoes for a while, put the chickpea mixture inside, put it back in the oven to let the chickpeas get nice and crispy. And then it was time to make the tahini sauce. So it's tahini, hot sauce, some spices, some water, super simple. I mean, this whole recipe, like it's very not complicated. And then once everything was all baked up, took it out, looking gorgeous, added some scallions on top, as well as some of the sauce, just drizzling that all around, and here we are. So I'm gonna show you now me tasting it for the first time. Going in for the bite. Chomp, chomp. Ooh, chickpea fell. Mmm. <gasps> oh my God, it's so good. So as you saw, I really, really like this. Let's have another bite. Mmm. Mmm. I think it's creamy, it's spicy just has like great textures going on. It's so good. So excited about all these recipes. Kate is amazing. She's like actually a fairy princess come to life. You know, she looks like a fairy princess and you have to be magic to make food that is this good and this easy to make. And you know, while I was making this, I was making the dinner option for later. So it's really like these don't take that long to make, like that many steps and everything. It's just, I'm not really that used to following recipes. So it's a little bit of an adjustment. Everything seems so good so far. That oatmeal was so filling and good. Like I love when I can eat something and I and just don't think about food at all afterwards. Like it just checked all the boxes. I was so satisfied. I don't really know the best way to eat this. I'm just like using my hands, but I'm sure you should, you should use a fork, but it's like, it's messy. I'm gonna eat as much of it with my hands as possible and then use a fork. And I'm drinking water along with all of this. Just drink water all day, good stuff. And this is my lunch. Mm. As promised, I'm having dinner on the go. So I made the lunch option, which is the no fried rice. Got brown rice, chickpeas, zucchini, carrots, peas, vegetable broth, some spices. Super simple to make. You know, the longest part is, you know, cooking the rice. I just made it in my rice cooker and then it all kind of sautés together in a non-stick skillet. Added some coconut aminos on top. It's very good. Like, I would never think to mush up some chickpeas and put it in there, but it adds an interesting flavor to it. It adds, you know, a little bit of like a fishy flavor. A lot of times uh, chickpeas are used for like mock tuna salad recipes. Um, you know, peas are good too. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. I bet some of that tahini sauce would be really good on top of it too. But this is good, I'm having it kind of like room temp, honestly, but I'm enjoying it. I'm drinking some water too. In the book, it says there's kind of an option to have an afternoon snack, which can be like a protein shake or any kind of snack that you want, really. I don't know, the way timing was today, I didn't feel the need to have a snack between lunch and dinner, but may have a snack later tonight, probably just some fruit. I don't have that like same protein shake stuff that Kate has. I don't have any protein powder stuff. My plan for the rest of the week, like if timing works out, is for my snack to be like heavy metal detox smoothie from Medical Medium, just cause I love it so much. You know, it's a fruit smoothie with some veggies in there. I'm sure it fits in. Wow, my hand is really on something else, but okay. Overall, I feel like I've been feeling good all day. So it's been nice. I'm enjoying everything that I'm eating, feeling full and satisfied. My stomach hasn't been upset at all, so looking good. And that's dinner. I'll be eating all of this. Again, one thing though, it's like the portion sizes are a little smaller than what I've been used to, but it's all been very filling. I feel like because 
I don't know. It's, the macros are worked out nicely. I've just, I've been feeling very full and satisfied after everything that I eat. And normally I eat like four potatoes and like I've been chilling. Hmm. Remember that snack I told you about? Here we are. Here we are having an apple. Tastes like an apple, that's for sure. It's an envy apple. I'm a fan. I'll see you later. Quite a bit of time has passed. I was working and yeah, was feeling nice and full for a long time from that dinner, drinking water, had that apple snack as you saw. And it's pretty late, but I am so hungry. Like I know I won't be able to fall asleep if I don't eat something. So I thought I would have a mango. Mangoes are supposed to be good for sleep, right? Mmm. So this concludes my eating like Kate Flowers, what I ate in a day video, the first day of the Freedom Food 2.0 meal plan. Lots of delicious food, excited for tomorrow. This is the only thing, like it's, it's kind of overwhelming to think about cooking all this stuff. Like I'm gonna have to prep a lot of food every day for this week at least. But yeah, it's weird. Also, it's weird not to eat a lot of fruit today. Like the fruit I'm having is just snacks. So some days there's more fruit than others, but it's definitely more of a legume starch based meal plan, which is interesting. Always up for trying something new. I'm gonna eat the rest of this mango, but if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it and you can subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. Leave me a comment, tell me what you thought about all this going on right here. And as always, thank you so much for being here. Goodbye. I'm so wiped right now, guys. It's past my bedtime.